G'day guys, welcome to CSI, Crypto Scene Investigation. Today, we'll be looking at Monkey Ball, which is one of the upcoming NFT game projects. Um, I believe that either they have had their IDEO, or they are about to have their IDEO. So, we might be early, we, or we might be a little bit late. But according to CoinMarketCap, we currently don't, we don't have any analytics, so I believe that we're pretty early. So let's have a look. What exactly is Monkey Ball? Monkey Ball is the next gen esports metaverse that enables players to create, play, compete, and earn. Monkey Ball combines high production value multiplayer gaming with Solana blockchain. Now, for those who don't know Solana, you can definitely check out my Solana video as well. Um, I'll see if I can link that in the video here. Um, but Solana is very good from what I have seen. NFTs and decentralized finance to deliver an exciting turn-based play to earn soccer game that's easy to learn and yet hard to, mas hard to master. So, one thing I wanna mention by the way before we continue, is anything I say in this video should not be considered as financial advice and should be only used for inspirational, educational and entertainment purposes. And if this is your first time at the channel, um, please do consider subscribing, liking and yeah, tell me what you think at the end of this. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, so two of my my uh, usual places to, to check, BSC Check and Token Sniffer, I wasn't able to find this on here, um, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um, but that's also because this is on the Solana network, and so Solana is like a different thing, right? So, let's have a look. Um... So this is BirdEye. Now, something cool about this is that it does tell you the top 50 holders. So, Tokenomics, numero uno. Do not know what this top wallet is, but I imagine it's like a um, it's like a holding and a distribution wallet. Because with some projects, they, from what I understand, they create like their game at, at first, or you know, they create their, their full game, um, and they dedicate a wallet to be able to hold those tokens. Now, is that the case for this game? Not entirely sure, but if it has a 98%, 98% of the coins are in there, I'm assuming that there is no other reason other than that to have that in there. So let's go to their website. Uh, token info, so I did have a look at these, couldn't see anything which which exactly kind of told me the actual, um, uh, the, the actual distribution. Oh, actually, we might be able to find using this though. Um, yeah, no, so I can't see anything which sort of signifies um, what their tokenomics are going to be like. Um, if we have a look on their main page, can't see anything here. One thing I don't like as well, this is a little bit triggering. These guys do not show who they are. That is not a good time. Personally, I don't like that. Personally, I, yeah, when it, when it, when it comes to projects, one of my beliefs is that the team should be able to be seen or should should be doxxed enough so that we can see who they are um i don't like that so even though this game has definitely gotten a bunch of hype and even though it does seem that it does have a lot of um <clears throat> a lot of potential to grow and get real big um i'm still i'm still iffy about those sides of things now these guys have got a nice little roadmap december pioneers gear up camp so nft drop cool uh, IDEO, cool, we have had that, um, so it might not have been the IDEO which they had recently, maybe it was something else different, um, NFT drop, I don't think it was that neither, uh, so according to their roadmap, things seem okay, things seem okay with their roadmap, then, the, they don't seem hugely attractive, but they seem, they seem enough to keep the game above board. They seem enough to keep the game above grounds. Like, and I mean, if it's a great game, it's a great game, right? People will want to play it. So that's not really like a big issue in my point of view. Um, yeah, so they, ooh, it says that they're going to be on Radium soon. I have heard of Radium. I personally haven't uh, used it myself, but I will be looking into doing that because um, there are some other good things which do come underneath that. Um, <clears throat> so where you can currently buy the token, let's have a look. Um, so there's nothing from what it says on a coin market cap, but as I say, that could be because it's not actually fully released to the public yet. Um, cause from what I did read was that they had to delay their, 
um, their launch um, or the ADO or whatever the heck it was they had recently, due to the fact that um, due to the fact that the market had crashed. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue looking at some of the some of the other stats. So we've done the holders. Let's have a look at the Reddit stats. So this is the Monkey Ball subreddit. Um, let's see. So uh, November fourth, and then it's kind of been a bit empty since then when it comes to comments per day, hasn't it? Boy, oh boy. It's been a little bit quiet, so it's 273 subscribers. That's okay. It's it's a bit risky when you sort of see something like this and it doesn't tell you, like, it doesn't say to you um, that it has been a, I don't know, like, it, it doesn't show that people are hugely into it. Now, 123,000 followers. Another project which we looked at recently, which was Last Survivor, um, I can link a thing in the video uh, here for that as well. Um, they also had a, bit, had a similar amount of followers. So they had about 140 and this one is about 123. So in the last 30 days, 80,000 80, followers. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, that is more than half. So that's pretty nice, man. That's pretty nice. Um, how's it doing in terms of daily growth? It looks like... So it looks like there was a lot more growth sort of around here. So that would have been closer to the lead up um, of the IDEO, um, which is, which I'm still kind of confused about, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, we move on. Um, so we have, we've looked at their Twitter. Let's have a look at the Google Trends. What do they tell us about this? Um, hmm. They don't say too much. There's been a bit of talk in and around about Monkey Ball. It seems, let's see if we can go a little bit further. What about the last 12 months? So barely anything, which I mean, I don't even know if people would have been talking about Monkey Ball <laughs> so long ago. Um, but if we see, so November tw uh, 28th to the 4th, 96. So this would have been about the highest time when it was being searched up, which makes a lot of sense because it's been getting talked about quite a lot. But then we've seen quite a dip, um, which I mean, is, a, I don't, I don't find that too normal, to be honest. Um, I find that a bit peculiar, um, mostly because, sorry, I'll just refresh the page. Um, <clears throat> mostly because because of their news, it doesn't seem to have been searched as much, which I find that, I don't know, I just think that's a little bit peculiar, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so it would make sense if there was a lot of hype originally. Um, I personally haven't seen gameplay footage of this game, so I couldn't tell you if it's, um, if it's you know, great in that sort of area. Um, so do feel free to look that up, um, or we could possibly do it together. So let's see if I can find something. All right, guys, a bit of a, a bit of a red flag here. <coughs> um, I don't like the fact. I don't like the fact that um, when I look up Monkey Ball gameplay, let's type in NFT, see if that sort of comes up with much. I haven't seen any gameplay from what I've briefly been looking at. To me, that's suspicious. When you invest in if it's if it's a game especially you don't just want to invest in games which are like um which are which which don't show any gameplay so this to me just raises a bunch of red flags so gosh honestly i am just getting red flags left right and center about this project to be honest like is this a safe investment for a pump and dump probably like you probably maybe get like two or three times um, but are you going to get a 10 times from this? I don't know, dude. I don't think so. I mean, a lot of people have been talking quite well about it. I mean, the fact that it's built on the Solana network, on the on the Solana blockchain, is a good thing. I think it is a great thing, but man, I mean, it just, it, it's, it's just giving me pump and dump vibes, to be honest, man. I mean, that they don't talk about the tokenomics. Um, how do I buy a monkey NFT? I mean, that's okay. Like, it's okay, it's all good and well to describe a project, but like, man, this is, this is just giving me the heebles jeebles. Let's see, I'm gonna try to find something, let's see if we can actually find maybe any videos, um, any videos of interviews with these guys. Um, Monkey Ball, 
Uh, I'll type monkey, monkey book crypto. Yep, so it looks like, it doesn't look like there is any interviews with the founders neither. Honestly guys, in my little dictionary of games, this is like a 2 out of 10. Um, when I've been having a look at these projects, say, like, like you, we don't know the, the tokenomics, like, or if the tokenomics are that 98%, then that's kind of okay, I guess. Um, we don't know who the founders are. We see names. We see names. But we, but we don't have any LinkedIn's. We don't have any Twitter's. We don't have any... We can't see what has this person done previously. Anton is a data scientist and an expert in blockchain economies. I could also probably write something like that, couldn't I? Um, game design expert, Bar. Bar has been directing game design for more than eight years. Ooh. Like, it's... It sounds good, but honestly, dudes, I'm not quite feeling this, eh? So, honestly, my personal rating, 2 out of 10. Leave it alone, unless you just want to do a pump and dump, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's... I don't think it's really worth much more than, than, than that, to be honest. Do a pump and dump. Shove it in and pull it out. Alright? It's literally what you gotta do with this, because, yeah, it's... Join the join the IDO if you want. Once you've joined the IDO, just leave. Just yeah, <laughs> it's really not worth it, guys. Um, cool. So for everybody who's still here, thank you for joining. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe and comment and let me know what you think. Maybe you're like you know Matt, your advice sucks. You got the worst point of views, and you know if you think that. Just be like, this is why I think it's going to pump. So, so be respectable, be considerate um, in the comment section. Um, I also have a Patreon as well. Um, and yeah, it would be awesome if you guys could join me on that as well. So anyway, much love to everybody. Peace out. Um, see you next time.